Hello again. Welcome back to the Penny University. This is David. And if you've seen in the news in California, there's a couple who found an estimated $10 million worth of gold coins in their yard. But there's a catch. There's always a catch. Take a, a look at the film clip. They found $10 million worth of gold coins in their own yard. It's not the first time people have stumbled upon a windfall of money. We're talking boxes of cash, a huge diamond in the rough, and even the Declaration of Independence. I'm Shannon Ray Green, and this is USA Now for February 26, 2014. The couple found 1,427 gold coins dated from 1847 to 1894, buried in eight cans. They want to remain anonymous, but are being identified as John and Mary. They're going to keep some, but sell the majority on Amazon to pay off debts and to help. That seems all sweet and wonderful for them, but guess what? They're about to get screwed just like everyone else who finds anything in this country. Um, I'll refer to the case in Philadelphia back in 2003. The Swit family um, had a safety deposit box from, I think it was their grandfather named Israel Swit, who was a coin dealer. And they found 10 coins in there, and they're double-headed eagles, and they're worth like an estimated $80 million. They brought them in to have them uh, assessed to find out if they were real, and the Mint confiscated them, and they've been in court ever since 2003, and they have lost. The court has ruled in favor of the U.S. government to seize these coins from these people. They will get nothing. There's always somebody looking to take what you have, even your government, and especially your government. They use the excuse of an executive order from President Franklin Roosevelt to rob these people of gold that was already in their family. And I, I actually... I've got an image of the, the order from FDR. I'm going to show it to you here. Okay, so you saw a copy of the order. And basically, and a little known fact about FDR, because he was as much of a crook as any other president, issued an executive order to confiscate all privately owned gold with the threat of a 10-year prison sentence if you didn't comply. Didn't know that about FDR, did you? Chicken in every pot in my ass. But they took these people's gold. They're not going to give them back. The judges in the government side, big surprise. Moral of the story, if you find treasure or whatever, gold, keep your mouth shut. I don't know why everybody has to brag about this kind of stuff. Now, as for this uh, new story about this people that found $10 million in gold, it's already happening because there's already been a declaration from the IRS that says that they will be confiscating at least half of this and pending, uh, and pending investigation. So they're getting ripped off already. Should have kept your mouth shut.